I am very bored. I'm real bored. I also I saw Jack Septicai do this where him and his lovely girlfriend Googled random things. Now my girlfriend doesn't like being in videos with me anymore because I set her pink sheep on fire and made her cry. No, no. So I will be here alone. Everyone keeps saying that's blood on the walls, by the way. It is not blood. I am not a serial killer. I have never murdered anyone. Never have I murdered someone. So I asked you guys on Twitter, what is some random crap I should Google that would make me laugh? Like, I just want to do a stupid reaction video. You and I sit down together, we Google some weird stuff. I'm probably going to have to blur 95% of it. And I don't want a channel strike. Google, it's looking so pretty. Google blue waffles. I love waffles. I love waffles so much. Waffles is one of my favorite type of foods. I look forward to Googling blue waffle. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mistakes. I have made so many mistakes. Why would my fans lead me astray like this? I thought we were friends. Why is it blue? They're not supposed to be blue. If you're too young to understand, go ask your parents to Google it for- No, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, it's just something that's really disgusting. Don't Google it. That's all it is, guys. No, that's all it is. That's all it really is. It's a blue waffle there. That's all it is. Why do penguins not fly? I've always wanted to know. Why do penguins not fly? Scientists believe penguins can't fly because they likely had little or no threat from predators in their past. That means they never evolved to fly because they didn't have anything to fly away from. So what you're telling me, penguins are the laziest animal and they're right for the taking. Chicken's getting expensive and that's because chickens can fly. So by my logic, if we hop on a boat down to Antarctica, these birds can't fly away. Maybe we give them a pre- All I'm saying is I don't want to leave this earth before I can eat. I want to eat a penguin. Doesn't that just look delicious? Lays beam and fresh fan fictions. Fresh is 17 years old. Anyone who writes that should be in jail. I will not Google that. Apparently this actually exists. That's illegal! That's illegal! This guy, this guy wants me to Google corn. Mm. That's some good corn. Uh, this one was actually so disgusting, I had to blur the word so you wouldn't Google it yourself. Oh no! No, 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 no. I need an adult. I need an adult. Adult me, please. <coughs> I might throw up. I'm gonna do it. Oh, sweet corn. We're back to corn. Oh God, I missed you. How many deaths per year come from coconuts? That's actually a good question. 150? 150 people die each year from being hit on the coconut by a coconut. Well, that's just inappropriate. Now is not the time for a pun. People died. Okay, wait, no, like how many people, like shark attack? 66? You're telling me coconuts are deadlier than a shark attack. Wait, 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 wait. No, 66 people get attacked every year. Only six people die. You are telling me coconuts are 30 times more deadly than a shark. Where are these coconuts coming from? That these attacks are so unpredictable. Surely if this many people are dying, you would simply learn to not walk under coconuts. Nah, this is a Google video. So much fun. We're learning so much stuff. Movie star planet. Why would you make me Google this? Why would you make me do this? Overweight sheep. This is like a farmer's forum where they talk about their sheep. Oh, that's a, that's a chunky boy. Looks more like a cloud. See, I never knew sheep could get fat. I've learned so much. Burger King foot lettuce. What is this? It's a video. Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King burger is someone's foot fungus, but as it turns out, Oh, really? <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm a connoisseur of lettuce. And I've got to say, foot fungus really just adds that final little bit of flavor. That final little bit of flavor. A 4chaner uploaded a photo anonymously to the site showcasing his feet in a plastic bin of lettuce with the statement, this is the lettuce you eat at Burger King. Admittedly, he had shoes on, but that's even worse. I'm, I'm with this guy. Just don't eat lettuce. Don't eat green things. Corn hub. Ooh, corn hub. Feeling corny? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's some black corn. Yes. 
Goose teeth. I just learned goose, geese have teeth on their tongues. You know geese, right? Yeah. If you don't know they're birds, they're in the same family as ducks. We get it, we get it. Then they are not scary. Yeah, yeah. Or are they? They have t teeth on their tongues? Images seconds before disaster. That's scarier to me than a crocodile. I would rather fight a crocodile with my fist than a geese. That's genuinely disgusting. I don't know, but I'd watch this from scissors. I don't know if I can trust him. I see. The title is a joke. I will like this video. Do chickens sneeze? I actually, this sounds like a good thing to know. That scared me a little bit. <laughs> I'm learning in so many intelligent things. I can now tell everyone that chickens can sneeze. I know this now. A huntsman spider. These little guys are friendly. They don't, they literally cannot hurt you. All these guys do is eat bugs. These guys are your best friends. You see, you go to the toilet, one drops on your lap. Don't freak out. Give him a high five. Let him go about his business. There is nothing scary about that. That's just a good guy spider. Yeah, they're giant, but they're friendly. Why did my dad leave me? Let's find out. Why did my dad leave? As a father who left someone, <laughs> jeez. I'm glad he could be honest. Um, yes. There are many reasons and sometimes excuses why a father would leave a son or a daughter. Sometimes it's because circumstances have changed and your father thought it best for him to leave. The only person that can really answer that is him. So basically, he's going to get the milk. He ain't coming back. I like how, like, these people are actual professors with PhDs. Like, they're actually seriously answering this question. <laughs> this was obviously posted as a meme, and there's so many PhDs and professors, published author, like, actually seriously answering this question. Eelslap.com. It's a man getting slapped by an eel, and you control it with your mouse. How have I never seen this website before? Yes. Yeah. I could sit here for hours just slapping him. Cute, innocent little ginger kid. Wah! 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 You know, you need to relieve some stress. Come slap Barry over here. Bah! Bah! Take it, Barry. This has 270,000 likes. How many people have seen this? How many times has this guy been slapped? You know, I want to code like a bot or something that just keeps this guy getting slapped all day, every day. I mean, this is definitely animal cruelty. You definitely should not use eels for this, but it's pretty funny. Same time. So I spent a good part of the last, like, hour going through all of these 1800... Most of them are just trying to tell me who... Google boobies. Google Boobies! Things people have found in fast food. I don't think we're gonna get pictures of the actual food, which is really disappointing. There was a tooth in, in a chunk of fries. There was human skin in a burger from Arby's. Someone at McDonald's found a deep fried chicken head. Someone found a dead mouse in their subway sandwich. <laughs> Someone found a deep fried mouse in Popeyes. This guy said, Google yourself. Laser beam net worth. My net worth, apparently, is $20 million. <laughs> 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 $20 million. Oh, that's funny. That I'm not going to pretend like I'm poor or nothing, but $20 million? Ah! Like, if you Google me, it's like literally all net worth. <laughs> All just net worth. All right, I'm pretty cooked. I'm pretty tired. This was a fun time. When you're kind of bored, uh, you can Google weird stuff. If you think I didn't Google enough weird stuff, leave yourself some comments. Send me tweets on Twitter. And maybe we do a part two where I Google even weirder, more traumatizing things. But as you can tell by my eye ligma, which I can't find a cure for, I am cooked. So I must end the video here. This video had no point, but I thought it was pretty funny. I Google this stuff so you don't have to. I'm going to bed.